In these videos, I'm gonna be taking you guys around Montego Bay. Welcome to EKK. Yo, big up yourself, guys. Here is another one. Thank you for coming to EKKI Media. Bless up yourself. Thank you for the support. If it's your first time, you know what you need to do. Hit that subscription button. And welcome once again, guys. So in these videos, I'm going to be taking you guys around Montego Bay one more time. Strolling in the streets of Montego Bay. The hustling, the bustling, the daily life. And we're going to be seeing the streets, how daily life is in the Montego Bay. Let's go, guys. Join me as we walk and give a shout out to Latoya Dali, Jamaican YouTuber, Jamaican queen from Montego Bay, who's always been kind to show me around Jamaica, Mobe, and many other places. So bless up yourself. Let us go. Oh, this is sugar cane, huh? Yeah. Nice. What, what is this? Plum. June plum. June plum. Oh, you eat with salt? It's sour, right? Eat it like that. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. <laughs> you love those things. No, man. You love to eat those things too much. I see the I see up now. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the Yo, wow. still, that here's another crazy. reaction about Jamaica. So, as I was walking in oh, the streets of Jamaica, guys. even in Kingston, and particularly this video, we're gonna go walk a few places and we're going to go to the market, like where they sell clothes. In Kenya, we have many of those, like it's second hand clothes. In Jamaica, by the way, bigger percent, they don't have second hand clothes market. Unlike Africa and most countries in Africa where we have second-hand clothes market like we have so many of them in Kenya And one thing I notice about this market though even is a market like you know where people can go It's not all that One thing I notice about it even in Kingston where they second like they sell clothes and food and everything their market the street, they have nice clean streets, like you will see, it's well organized, it's well, the street is always clean, they make sure they clean up the street every evening, I think, because as we go through this market, you will notice that the street is pretty clean, as you walk in and as you walk out, it didn't look so busy, but uh, it was pretty clean, so I give Jamaica thumbs up for this one so bless up yourself jamaica so this is the daily life in mobay guys daily life daily life here in the street of montego yeah man Daily life in the streets of Montego Bay. Yeah, buddy. People selling, people doing all kinds of stuff, man. people walking.
it looks like when they see the police they run mm -hmm. eh? yeah. so same like Kenya I can tell because the way they put the thing on the side because they don't have license so in the same way in Nairobi they hold it like this when the police come they take it and run off yeah But they might not have that one. Daily life. Huh? Today is not Friday though. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. I thought it's Saturday. So guys, let me know what you think. This is the market. So we're gonna go in here and see. This is the marketplace. Just gonna walk in. Let's see what go on in there. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. Shot bar. <laughs> Where's my fun fun? So this lot is much where you can buy shoes, eh? No? No sell food up here. Only clothes and shoes. Yeah? You know anybody in this place? Yeah, buddy. Oh, Lord. Oh, a lot of places closed, huh? What did they get me? So we got mixed up. They said clothes. They do, like, mix the hair. That's how they a market like this clothes, food, because people have to eat, you know, people have to eat, so what's the name of the market, what's the name of the market, hmm? arcade, right, already, you don't look too busy, So this is more expensive? Already, really another bad. number three thing I would like oh, about really? Jamaica, yo. They say it's risky, there's people, yes, it might be risky, but comparing to where I'm from, whether in Nairobi, mostly Nairobi, 
You cannot walk holding your camera like I was holding my vlogging camera in certain neighborhood, holding your cell phone, or like the way I was seeing Latoya walking around with her handbag, her pants, just swinging it around. You cannot do that in most cities where I'm from. That one I give Jamaica. You barely have anybody snatch your phone or even snatch your handbag. I don't know about Kingston, but they say Kingston is risky. Mm -hmm. But is having it? been there, compared to where I'm from, yeah, they look like uh, I still give Jamaica safety wise. It's still it a little like bit more safer than Nairobi. And Montego Bay, so I give it a number one. She's pretty good. I was walking there with my camera. I was walking there in the oh, evening. And I wasn't feeling any threat of anybody snatching my camera. So they just line up anything. and just wait for drivers to pick them up. Oh, really? The man? There is your rain coming. I would never stay in a reggae hostel. No, sir. Who come up with bed bugs and everything there? Yeah. They don't clean, you know. A what? Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. They shut it down. Oh, nice. That's a big one. Wow, they have. They have a nice fire engine place here in Jamaica. Like, whoa. Yeah, that's a fire engine place. They have nice ones, big yeah. ones. Wow. They would allow? No, they don't have to go. Okay. That's something Kenya government should take and learn from them. I have to do that one. I'm fed up of running a fucking car. Your country is really organized because you have. We don't have a nice fire, fire like now. And it's a big city. We only have like. Already, here is another one I'm giving Jamaica thumbs up. As you go see this video, they have like a, this big fire station in Montego Bay. Very huge, big, 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 big fire station. And all those fire engines, they're up to date, they're modern fire engines, they're those big ones, and like, they look like well maintained, the fire engine place is looking so good, and I also... Huh? Okay. Notice like another a thing about Jamaica police, you will see some of them walking on foot or in the street, but they also have vehicles, like you would see vehicles around, you would see like they even have pl play clothes policemen in there, of course we have them, but uh, I give it thumbs up to them because I notice it's not like in Kenya where the police can just stop you and start harassing you for hiding, and if they stop you at night, they can actually really give you a hard time. Now, if you don't have your ID and you're walking at night, that can be really bad. In Kenya, they'll make you walk, walk, patrol with them the whole night. And they take the little money you have and they let you go. I notice Jamaican police, they just don't hustle you, just stop you and hustle you. I give that one also to Jamaica. Bless a perception. If this was in Kenya, all these medals have been stolen. Look at all these. If you say it's bad, this would have been stolen a long time. And it's easy to pull out. Yeah? Would have been stolen a long time. Huh? We did? Yeah, this police vehicle. Okay. That's really back to the market. So we done for the town? For town? Alright. Take take taxi?
We drop by a. Uh, what did you say we go? Take a break and then. No, sir. Watch out. I thought Lati's. I thought Lati's a toothpick. <laughs> So let's go with people's personality. I think Jamaicans like out there in the street, they are not so like freely open to talk to strangers. Like, you know, engaging a conversation is kinda if they don't know you, it's like mostly the men and they see the camera, they don't want to be on camera. But in Kenya it's totally different. A lot of Kenyans are very friendly people. Mostly if they find out that you are a foreigner. So I give that to Kenya. I'm Latoya's dad in Nosa. From the new, the the shop, the where we buy the chicken. Yeah. I give five to Kenya. I give Jamaica one and a half on that one. Where we bought the chicken. But bless up yourself, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to give points to Jamaica, man. I shout out Jamaica there's no street children you will not see street families like in Kenya if you walk in there's, there's so many street children welcome to life in Mo Bay daily life hustling and bundling Montego Bay I'm telling you and it's on a Friday it's about to get worse I'm telling you these homes have been stolen all these metal here all of them. They will never put like this. They put concrete. Yeah, Nairobi can't do this. <laughs> Jamaicans. Jamaicans are full of wealth, yo. Begging, harassing on the street, homeless families. And there's so many street kids, street boys who will snatch and steal your handbag, do whatever. I did not see any of that in Jamaica, in Montego, even in Kingston. I give that thumbs up to Jamaica and Kenya. <laughs> Jamaican by Montego Bay, hustling, bustling in the street. Yeah, man. Real Montego Bay. Friday evening, Friday afternoon. We got hawkers just like Kenya. 
ready for the city police and they take off real fast. Yeah, buddy. I guess we are relatives. <laughs> yeah. They are all set and ready to run when the city police come. You see them? Okay, see them? They are ready. Huh? I wish they can show up and see them run. Hey, buddy. This is a real street of mobile guys. Not Photoshop. What are they selling? Bread right there? Yeah. Already guys, this is it. Yeah. Let's get our taxi to get to get to work. So one thing you don't want to get caught here when it starts raining. Yeah, it starts raining really bad. The rain is coming. It's the rain season in Jamaica, so it's expected. Isn't the taxi here? No. no? That's the lady we met when we were there buying chicken. Why is she giving you money for what? No. <laughs> She's wicked like Yeah She have two girls Oh yeah I'm just a helper I'm just a helper I'm just a helper I'm just a helper I'm just a I'm like, what's the lady harassing somebody to get her money? Move. You just say, give me a big money and she gives me the money. Is it here? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the free one. You wanted to That's why Steve was saying she, his backside. Steve. Just keep, keep bringing it up everywhere. Move. That's why Steve keeps saying your backside. Yeah, but you keep bringing it in front. Backside. Okay. We cross? We can let that from Jamaica. Let me even not talk about the streets. The streets are always cleaned out and Where? very clean. So, big up yourself, Jamaica. Enjoy this video. Share it out if you can. And subscribe if you've never subscribed to my channel. And big up, big up, big up. See you in the next one, everybody.